Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled sun. back to experimenting with uh, creating modular racks. So we're going to select the patch option and just start building a new rack. Um, kind of keeping in uh, theme with some of our more recent episodes, uh, just looking at some of the toy box stuff. You know, I'd like to uh, try out all of those guys. I haven't really gotten to try them out yet. So um, we're going to pull open a couple of things that we've seen from our past previous few episodes, and then uh, we'll just kind of dive right in with uh, adding some stuff from the Floor Shakers pack, uh, Floor Shakers collection. So um, let's add an oscillator and a filter. And let's go ahead and start patching things together as we go. And let's also add our VCA and our envelope and let's go ahead and get these in position here. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start patching together the uh, modulation. I think modulation is blue, correct? Yeah. And these guys, remember, need to be modulated down. So we'll start these off at a zero and modulate these guys downward. And let's kind of just see what the difference is between just a basic... Uh, oscillator and wavetable oscillator. Let's see what we got. Um, let's use the gate signal from the node in. And that gate signal is going to be teal. And let's go ahead and patch together the outputs. Here we go. And, um, yeah, I think that'll that'll work for right now. Let's go ahead and get the first um, input assigned here. Let's see if we got some sound. Awesome. Basic oscillator. Has some warp capabilities. And I love this oscillator. It's great. So let's now look at the Floor Shakers oscillator. So we have a wavetable and wavetable basic. Let's just pull up the wavetable. And... Um, what I'm going to do is basically just use the same connections. So let's get the pitch cable. Let's get an output. Let's go out left. That's fine. Already, you know, this is pretty... There you 
There's so many different options. So this is the wavetable. We don't have sound. Maybe uh, let's figure out what's going on with the presets there. Wavetable based oscillator. The wavetables can be scanned in two dimensions across a 16 by 16 grid of waveforms using the X position. The Y position controls to select the horizontal and vertical position of the grid. There are seven built in wavetables, and there's an option to add your own wavetable to the user slot. Dragging and dropping a wavetable file onto the waveform display will add the sound to the user slot. When the user tables are in use, click on the left half of the display to select a previous user table. Click on the right half of the display to select the next user table. So you can add your own, which is pretty awesome. And scan will scan between the various waves that you have in there, but the X and Y position will now change the waveform. You can change the scan mode, that's badass. I like the random. And so now if we mix it in with the original, you can barely hear the original. Need some uh, distortion. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sounds awesome. As a as a bass tone, sounds uh, pretty awesome. Realized I was running kind of hot there, so we gotta. So I got it set up to audition here and I'm just gonna kinda play around with some control. I'm going to open this guy up in the next episode and we'll keep playing for now until next time.